there are many people who are careless over their bodies and their health today and sincerely they have the power to invest just a little in their health there are many believers who hate medical checkup they say no this is demonic there are many believers i've told you that science and medical people will tell us that many diseases would have been solved if the people were attentive enough to detect it at infancy and to deal with it most people resort to medicine as a last resort i have taught you here ladies and gentlemen and for some of you who may be hearing it for the first time medicine is not anti-spirituality my perspective of medicine i hope you know that luke was a doctor he was the disciple of jesus dr luke hallelujah it's true that jesus rose up from the dead but what about those who took care of his body for three days the body did not just lie down in the cold on the cross someone wrapped the woman said she came to clean the body so there is a place for medicine listen listen if you don't believe this you would you will rubbish yourself it is true that divine health and healing is real don't get me wrong but remember it is a journey of transition in the spirit to attain onto that point where you can walk in health in experience and while you are on that journey by the time you are afflicted and you pray and it looks like nothing is happening ladies and gentlemen even if something is happening it is wise to consult the doctors if you are truly healed medicine will not fight your miracle <laughs> hallelujah there are people dying in silence your heart is palpitating you almost cannot you can't climb the stairs you don't know what is wrong at least let them tell you what is wrong then you can now choose if you want to go the path of faith you are not going on blind faith hallelujah yes madam you try to conceive once twice three times it looks like it's not working don't just sit down and say i know it is a demon in my spirit. go and see a doctor have a discussion let them find out what is wrong then if it defines medicine that's why god put both the doctors and us respectfully speaking i tell you believers are very careless over their health very very careless hallelujah there are many of us who continue to eat all kinds of things including overeating i respect your perspective about food but let me give you an honest advice even if fasting did not have any spiritual reward, I can tell you, ask anybody, fasting, eating every day, anytime, anytime you see food is lost. You have to repent. The name of that lust is gluttony. And it kills. It kills. Hallelujah. And by the way, let me tell you, don't say, I am not very fat. It doesn't mean you are free. It doesn't mean you are free. Hear what I'm saying now. So don't get into that deception that until you look like you are you have weight and then mm -mm. there are many people who are about dying diabetes all kinds of things kidney failure different troubles in their bodies and they don't care until the day they collapse for some of you by this teaching you may need to go to and do a medical checkup what are you afraid of do a medical checkup if they say you are fine has that not strengthened your faith hallelujah pay attention to the kind of water you drink as god grants you grace pay attention to the kind of food you eat many of us you see food that is already beginning to spoil plus jesus minus satan amen you just warm it in the microwave and death in the pot you want to find out more about nutrition don't I'm, I'm not the person to there are many people who are gifted and grace go to the medical stand they will guide you it is not seen to be under very good organic supplements they can help you many of these things we keep taking and feeling like we are rich it is death minimize some of these things in the name of Jesus Christ and more than minimizing these things please i impart upon you the grace to fast yeah. even if 
you don't want to pray, just fast and sleep with no food. It is still a level of liberty you are administering to your body. Hallelujah. There are people who will never drink up to one bottle of water in a day. They will drink five bottles, Sprite, Coca-Cola, any other one. And you see people in a restaurant, four wraps of swallow and three kinds of soup, half of chicken, only you. And then three bottles and then one tiny pure water. You are, this is death. I, 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 I hate to be a bearer of bad news, but I owe you a responsibility to tell you it is not the manifestation of wealth. And we have all kinds of cultural things. I suffered. Now is my time. You, you, you want to live long. Remember the last key, walking in wisdom. Please laugh but pay attention. Laugh but pay attention. Hallelujah. Laugh but pay attention. And you know in many cultures, the proof of honor is food. The proof of honor is what? So one person can visit five families between 12 to 6. And everywhere he goes, you went here, they gave you yam. You just went to say hi to the other neighbor, there's pounded yam. Then the other one, there's rice. The other one, there's fish. And you ate all. Appa! The leaves are for the healing of the nations. I don't know about you, but this man standing before you by the grace of God is still here for a long time. As far as the program of God demands, not out of fear. Do not die the death of a fool through carelessness. Let me encourage you again. Listen, do you know between age zero and age 20, there is a biological strategy for your feeding and for your living. Between age 20 to 40, there is a formula. Between 40 and 50, 60, there is a formula. There are things your body doesn't want. You say, I'm a youth. You, are, you can be a youth in your mind. But as far as the length of days is concerned, time is going. And you need to begin to adjust yourself through maturity. And don't bring death to yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ.